Welcome to Cocoa Rise, the community, collaborative, rain, hail, and snow network where every drop counts and where your school can report precipitation that helps out TV weather reporters. It's really easy and it starts by checking your gauge first thing in the morning. So here's how the gauge works. There are three parts to the gauge. You've got the funnel, you've got the inner measuring tube, and you've got the outer cylinder. Truth be told, all you need is this out outer cylinder to collect and measure precipitation. In fact, all you need is something where the top and the bottom are the exact same size and the sides would be straight. So maybe even a coffee can could work. So think about it. Let's put our coffee can out at your schoolyard and let's make it rain. And it's raining. Oh my gosh, that is actually a really good rainstorm. So how are we gonna measure how deep this is? If you've got, let's again, think that this is a coffee can in your backyard. How, how am I gonna measure how deep this is? I wanna know the depth in inches. Well, how about a ruler? I could just stick this ruler right in here and we could measure how much rain. So looking at the ruler next to our gauge, we can take a guess on how much rain is in here. Hmm, maybe a half inch maybe three quarters of an inch. That's a pretty good guess, but you know what? I'm a scientist. I wanna know how deep the water is in here with accuracy. In fact, I wanna know down to the one one hundredth of an inch. I wanna take one inch and break it into 100 little spots, little parts. So that's where this measuring tube comes in. This is calibrated to the rain gauge to hold exactly one inch. If I've got one inch of water in here and pour it into the inner tube, it's gonna fill it up all the way to the top where it says 1.00. So let's figure out how much we've got in here. We'll put the funnel on and pour our rain in. All right. And I can see we have 72 one hundredths of an inch, 0.72. That's great. So now the next question is, if we know how to measure rain with accuracy down to the one hundredth of an inch, fractions of an inch, what happens if it rains more than an inch? Well, let's see. What's happening? Yes, it is overflowing. So how are we gonna measure more than an inch? Well, the inner tube, like I explained, fills up to exactly one inch. And so we could pour this first inch out. We'll wanna write it down so you don't forget. And now we'll pour the remainder back into the inner tube. This rain gauge can actually hold over 11 inches of rain. So if you have that much rain, you probably have more things to worry about, maybe building a boat. So now we have 0.31 inches. Now what's the total for our big giant rainstorm? We already dumped out one inch plus the 0.31, so the total is 1.31. Next, you'd go to the Kokoraz website and report your data. It was that easy. If you have any questions, please contact education at kokoraz.org. That's education at C-O-C-O-R-A-H-S dot O-R-G. And we'll help you get started by sending you a rain gauge and registering your school on our website. Real science helping real scientists. Your school can help. <laughs>